walk into a restaurant uh, you 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 order your your food you pay uh, you you get the bill mm-hmm. then the time to pay you're given a receipt to pay the waiter has to write the food down yeah, yeah. you go back check with the cashier if the the, the money has gone through mm-hmm. you see there's a lot of uh, process and a lot of work involved one of the biggest challenges we face today is transacting online how do we keep our money safe in digital wallets in an era where everyone is transacting online if you're a freelance in africa and you receive money from probably us or australia yeah the easiest way to kind of receive money probably through through crypto okay. they tell you okay, can you give me your probably your wallet i send you some usdc we're joined with two amazing gentlemen who bring you know a lot of experience when it comes to how they safeguard your transaction through this amazing product called pay hero the way we pay rent okay in most places you find that you say that you have a bank account somewhere mm. that they tell you to send the money to then you take the message again you forward it to someone like a take out someone mm. you forward the message for them to to yeah. know you have paid mm. so imagine if a landlord has like 100 you know units you can't convince my mom back in the shago that i utanipanga hii pesa nitakupanga friday because yeah because especially when they hear the, the term online they like coming that's what yes. they kind of say to that yeah. yeah ron and vini a young amazing innovators who have come up with this platform that enables you to have seamless transactions online there's no money sitting somewhere where some hacker somewhere can come and hack and sort have mm-hmm. that money that money goes if you have a till it goes to your till if you have a phone number that money comes to your phone number listen more on the crime feed podcast This episode has been shot at Wojo Shared Office Spaces located in Upper Hill, Makua, 9th and 10th floor. Come check it out for yourself. Isn't it amazing? The link is in the description below. Kuja ujione mwenyewe. With the ever changing landscape uh in terms of transactions, you know, sending money from uh, business to business, from a bank to an individual. Sometimes oh ina kwanga kamba sana. Now I have two amazing individuals who will take us through you know the landscape of this evolving transaction story how can you transact online and in what platforms when you wanna job let us say karibuni sana asante sana yeah 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 so um why why pay hero nataka nianze na hero okay so first of all um you thank you very much for for, for that mm. Uh, so before I go to the why I would like like maybe to just dig deep into a bit of what Payro is first of all okay what it does then we can go into the why okay <clears throat> so uh, at the heart of Payro we are set, uh, focused on enabling businesses to seamlessly accept payments mm-hmm. uh, track keep a uh, record track of their transactions digitally okay because you may find most businesses currently even in the modern world right now most businesses are struggling with manual bookkeeping mm. and confirmation of transactions which is pretty much cumbersome and hectic yeah okay you you walk into a restaurant uh, you 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 order your your food you pay uh, you you get the bill mm-hmm. then the time to pay you're given a receipt to pay the waiter has to write the code down yeah, yeah. you go back check with the cashier if the the, the money has gone through mm-hmm. you see there's a lot of uh, process and a lot of work involved mm-hmm. that would have if, if businesses could streamline that process to automate it mm-hmm. uh, to make it digital so that uh, they can save on time mm-hmm. and focus on doing what they do better like expanding and all yeah, that. yeah 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 <laughs> so instead of wasting this uh, time on manual processes mm-hmm. so you'll find that uh, also on those manual processes you may find that businesses may go uh, losses or have revenue leaks in terms of transparency because if you yeah. are writing down things you, you never know if someone can make a, an error or a mistake mm-hmm. doing those things yeah. so you see they can cost you as a business so that's why pay hero comes in to help businesses really streamline those processes mm-hmm. uh, in terms of payments and tracking their their records unajua pia kuna kwanga na watoto wako stand by yeah kucheza na books yeah exactly yeah, you know you exactly. cook a figure hapo hivyo vini una cook figure unaeka hapo hivyo and it happens a lot yeah. i also saw some people um and it was it was prominent sometime back in december yeah. where people send fake codes eh msema melipa eh na kumbe ni message tu yeah and it comes in, yeah, yeah a fraudulent yeah message from mpesa yeah. so yeah that's amazing so yeah. um why what do you say 
So so now Pedro comes in this way. Uh-huh. For such cases you said someone can show like you are in a club, yeah. you know people are drunk yeah. and you know you ask for the code they show you the message you as the as the waiter you uh, by the time you go that person could have left. Exactly. Then you discover <laughs> it's a fake code. <laughs> it's too, it's is already too late. Yeah. Okay. So Pedro uh, makes it simple such that even a business uh, your your staff mm. can easily just initiate the checkout processes automatically like they come there they can they prompt you to to pay mm-hmm. they confirm the payment is successful you don't have to show them uh, a code or they don't have to, to peep into your messages also privacy yeah, yeah, yeah. which someone wants to check you and pesa bala to labu mefuliza they want to see kumbe you know, kuna msana anangojea <laughs> pale kwa kona yeah they want to see what you have so yeah. to avoid such issues now uh, pay hero now you see why you should use our services because they are easy and simplified you know mm-hmm. people are used to you know if you want to to automate your processes or have us you have to have a complicated system mm. set up computers somewhere and uh, yeah. sophisticated gadgets so m- most people most businesses fear you see mm. when they hear about a payment system mm. so they they shy away from that but mm. but you remember most people right now have smartphones okay? yeah so every, everyone has a smartphone in their hand so uh, we 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 use that we leverage that so that businesses they can use smartphones to transact and their staff can easily uh, initiate checkouts for for different services and goods that they are you know selling Mm. Okay without the manual intervention processes. Also as a business owner, you can be able to track how your business is performing in real time. Okay? okay. So wherever you are, you you, you could be up country and your business is in Nairobi, yeah. you don't have to call someone to ask them what's going on, what, mm. what, how, what have you sold or you, you can just to, see it from your your phone. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see it because we also, you know, send you WhatsApp notifications because right now WhatsApp is a popular messaging platform yeah. that uh, you know most people are on every day. Like you can count how many times you've been on WhatsApp today. Yeah, it's yeah. almost after every five minutes or so. Yeah. So we send you WhatsApp notifications to your phone as a business owner to see what's go, what's moving on, what's happening. Mm-hmm. So there's no there's not that uh, you know gap between the manual work and you being having to confirm because you can come and they they tell you something totally different. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's so as a someone who is asking themselves why should I you know go for pay hero mm-hmm. because we also we, apart from us helping you to automate those processes mm-hmm. we offer personalized support okay. okay because you may find businesses have different needs okay yeah you may find this this business they, they are interested in seeing uh, how their their stock is performing their stock levels are performing in real time mm. others are interested in seeing uh, you know the profits they are making or, or the losses or st- stuff like that mm. so you, you see uh, most of this popular you know providers who give them people softwares you know mm. they just give you like a universal thing that everybody uses it doesn't cut for your own it's not personalized yeah, yeah. Mm. so you una pair to kitu yenye hata inaweza kuwa ikusaidi sana okay and most of yeah. them they just give you that thing and they disappear mhm wana pair software na wana toroka after you pay them mm-hmm. okay but payro is working with you all step of the way to ensure that your business is growing mm-hmm. and we grow with you yeah vini why innovate such a platform like uh, payro Ninini ilikufanya paka uka feel we need this which problem is this that kila kitu inakuanga na reason yake yeah yeah and so i did for me I'll kind of start off is i'm an entrepreneur so mm. not really in the sense of what they say in Nairobi but yeah. uh, I, i run a cyber business kazi ni kazi kazi ni kazi that yeah so <laughs> yeah. um i guess one of the main aspects especially like rona sort of mentioned mm. is that Uh, I believe we are using technologies being leveraged in in Africa especially in Kenyan context mm. from the context of, I believe of probably uh, I believe the western world yeah. which is um you kind of have to have one they, they call it a silver bullet mm-hmm. so you're given a silver bullet to solve kind of all your I believe operational purposes okay so we think especially technology in Africa is not kind of telling the story of african people we are people who are very reserved about money mm-hmm. um at a, somebody comes as a fintech and the very first thing they want they want to hold your money ah. um you can't convince my mom back in ushago that i utanipanga hii pesa nitakupanga friday because <laughs> yeah because uh, especially when they hear the, the term online they're like scamming that's what yes. they can associate with that yeah yes. so i think that is now the very first thing where i think i joined into this and said yeah mm. i think technology is being used because as ron has mentioned is everybody has a supercomputer in their hands yeah but if i want to kind of digital myself what any business when you go talk to them what they think is that they need to buy a computer they need to have a wifi yeah. they need to kind of have an account to help them manage that particular system mm. but they are having a supercomputer in their hands so that is now where we generally come in you run your business from your hands mm-hmm. so we are using the tools that exist you don't have to train you to do anything so then also we kind of like ron has mentioned is we personalize so for mm-hmm. example 
uh, we've talked to a lot of businesses. Mm. The business, a business probably for them, they want to know how did my salespeople do today. That is okay. one business. Okay. Another business want to know what is my stock level. So that's what they care most. Mm. Another business probably they want to see what is my statement of account. So mm. how am I performing based on how I'm selling things versus how I'm buying things. Mm -hmm. So I believe in this particular ecosystem, that is now what we are trying to kind of come and solve because yeah. payments have been solved. We like for example where we we've, we've kind of had our mm -hmm. our evening calls up mm -hmm. there. Yeah. They used to receiving the money in their till. Yeah. So we are not trying to change that. What we are trying to kind of help is streamline for them all this particular process and sort of give them an ecosystem that addresses their need, what they care about, mm -hmm. which is what we generally feel, especially the technology in Africa is generally being missed because again, Africans are very pragma pragmatic people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll try to change uh, the norms and question status quo. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it, it brings it brings uh, me to also look at the the ukiongelea mambo ya pesa. Mtu ameenda mjengo huko hivyo, eh amefanya kazi yake alafu namwambia tumia hii platform. How safe is uh, you know someone's money? Let's say ama mamboga pale ameona alianza na kibanda alikuwa na get float ya ka 1000 bob in a day ajua kuna nyanya kama gunia moja and things like that does pay hero go to the level of mamomboga yeah so i guess uh, i think i'll kind of say a part of that and also pass mm. it on a bit to kind yeah. of compound more on it so mm. i guess for us is yeah we that is the very first thing that we generally realize because we know probably mamboga I, I see most of them probably in Nairobi they, they have probably a till or mm. they have a till yeah so one of the very first because for us I think security becomes a very aspect of our life mm. uh, I think people always think of security I think uh, I probably I'm going to quote you <laughs> <laughs> no, thought, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> but, yeah, that is called keeping it crime shield yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Mm. so uh, but security involves a lot of things especially even your payments how you receive your money that yeah. is the aspect of that how secure you receive that that is security as a part of your life mm. so that is why for us, we don't hold money. So there's no money sitting somewhere where some hacker somewhere can come and hack and sort of have access mm -hmm. to that money. That money goes, if you have a tail, it goes to your tail. Uh, if you have a phone number, that money comes to your phone number. Mm -hmm. And for example, especially for the Mamambogas, yeah. um, one of the things that also we are also doing is we are also yeah. partnering with banks and also through Pehiro, they're able to kind of open bank accounts and that money oh, yeah. goes directly to bank accounts, which they can earn savings on. They can also get Facilities. their credit can grow on. They can yeah. get loans and such mm -hmm. and such. So that's generally what we are trying to do, just to kind of protect them as that as such, so that mm -hmm. even in case something happens to a hero for one or the other, they can still go to MPS and access the money from their till. They can mm -hmm. still go to a bank and access the money from their bank. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess for me, uh, that will kind of be, I believe, my punchline. Ron, what about you? I think uh, Vin has, has covered quite a, a, lot, a bit on that. Mm. Uh, the fact that most people are really skeptical if you take them, because if you tell them your payment to get you on a processor, they know funds are being held somewhere. Yeah. And people are, people, if you're for payments, uh, we, we didn't want to come out as a password, uh, as, as another payment wallet. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Because there are so many already mm. out there and people are used to them. Mm. People are already comfortable with how they receive money. People have pay bills, people have bank accounts. Yeah. Okay? But now what we came to figure out what we want to solve is how people manage yeah. these funds that they receive and how they can make informed decisions from all the transactions that happen in their business. You can have visibility. Mm -hmm. if you want to see how did I do last month? If you're doing that on book or paper, it's pretty hard to, to know yeah. or to tell mm -hmm. how my business is performing. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can't really grow uh, as expected. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we make it that you can be able to receive funds directly to your own channels that you already used to. Mm -hmm. Or if, if if you don't have such, because you may find some businesses don't have tiers or don't have you know bank accounts, yeah. so we can leverage on our partners because mm -hmm. we we partner with the licensed partners like banks, mm -hmm. so that uh, they can hold the funds. Okay? okay. So when the funds are hold there, so there's there's bank level security on yeah, the funds yeah. as well, exactly. so that you don't we, we don't have to meddle with uh, your funds or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you you have the trust that your funds are safe. When you're looking at um, how um, you know you came up with this idea and it's still a new run, um, walk us through the journey because me rentiango na lipanga tu kwatil namba. What really you know, kila kiti kona growth. Ata crime shield di kona growth yake. There are listeners and crime. We call them uh, crime shield premier gang who probably would want to see 
that journey and uh, that compelling feature that really pushed you towards, um, you know, starting up Pay Hero? Yeah, I think that's interesting. You've mentioned the way you pay your rent, yeah. the chill number. And you find it most, even, even just to touch on that, okay, mm. because that's a personal experience as well, mm. the way we pay rent, okay? In most places, you find that it's either you have a bank account somewhere mm. that they tell you to send the money to, then you take the message again, you forward it to someone, the caretaker or someone, mm. you forward the message for them to, to yeah. know you have paid. Mm. So imagine if a landlord has like 100 you know, units, and everyone is sending their messages in. Mm. So which means there's someone somewhere who's going to sit down and also go and counter check with yeah. the bank statement to see if these messages are real or not. Mm. Okay. So because back, back in campus, I, I, I used to be a tenant because, you know, back in the days, mm. uh, uh, in the first year you stay in the hostel, then the second year you go uh, to look for somewhere to accommodate yourself. Mm. So that experience of, you know, sending messages or they say you have not paid, Mm -hmm. or they don't give you a receipt to your payment, okay, yeah. which is very important mm -hmm. because you, you want to have proof that you paid and they acknowledge that they received your fund. So yeah. you just send, send those messages and someone, uh, you can send the landlord the message, the caretaker comes to knock at your door, mm -hmm. they're still asking for, for, for the rent. Because, so I saw that that's a, a really hectic process and so many people are going through that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came up with a solution called uh, Rent Hero. Ah. So, the, so Rent Hero was born out of that, you know, irritating experience mm -hmm. as, a, as a tenant. Una, yeah. una, una tuma pesa kumbe kiateka <laughs> yeah, yeah. mepelekana out uh, Or kiateka kan, an, aneza chukua yo pesa. Yes, yeah, mepelekana date. <laughs> so the landlord has not received the funds, <laughs> yeah. but unakujo kuambiwa ujalipa. Uh, so you see such, such cases. Yeah. So how Rentiro came about now, landlords can directly monitor how their rental business is performing mm -hmm. without any intermediary. The kiateka can be there, yes. Their the work is not being eliminated. Yeah. Because for manager and customer relations on the ground. You need boots on ground, yeah. Yeah, but when it comes to money, you as a landlord, you have to be directly in charge and seeing what's going on mm -hmm. and who has paid, who has not paid. Mm -hmm. Deposit, deposit in a kuruangu, if you get a landlord, you see. Mm -hmm. So so as a landlord, you are responsible for your business and you can track, you can have a, a transparent way to see how your business is doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it eliminates the need for you being conned along the way. Yeah. So when that solution came up, there are some early adopters who came on board and they said that uh, they wanted to have their money channeled to, to their banks or their pay bills. So you may find one landlord has two buildings or properties that mm -hmm. one they channel to this bank account and the other one they channel to the other bank account, yeah. you see? So you see for them to manage all these things. It becomes hectic. It's hectic <laughs> because <laughs> there's one client who, who contacted us, okay? Yeah. Because they had that challenge. They had to, to be, because they had so many tenants. So when I print your statement, you one by one, to the message, imagine every month doing that. It's hectic. Yeah, so even tenants don't know if, if you, you won't know who has arrears or not. Exactly. You're just relying on a paper. In, in, in security lingo, they call it, uh, you know, the broken window theory, where ule kiateka tu wetu ule akupelekana date. Akopale and then, uh, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, Vini. Umeena kwa nyumba and then now, you, you're in the same, same apartment. Yeah. But now you want to move from, let's say, a two-bedroom, you want to go to a three-bedroom. Three yeah. Si wako na deposit yako? Yeah, wako na. Yeah. 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 Lakini bado, kuna msema hali, <laughs> anasema ya kwamba, au jaliba nini? Deposit. Yeah. So now, I think it comes in handy in safeguarding, actually, the interest of both the tenant and the, the landlord. Yeah. I want to shift gears. Yeah. I've also seen another place where we, we are a little bit, um, you know, not really open towards... Uh, embracing such kind of things but i'm seeing a solution from this when we we've seen a lot of traffic accidents kwa barabara yeah. and uh sometimes what i'm going to cash but kama like me when i go to western sometimes when i'm um, hailing on a bus so na pay receipt yeah so what happens to wale watu wa commuter you know i think this can also be leveraged there because now in case there is uh, an accident and insurance wants to come in then it's also a way to its plausibility you can be able to trace it back yeah, kwamba indeed i was in that vehicle and if at all there is compensation to be done uh, you can also be compensated i don't know if you've you, you've seen a, a gap there yeah yeah definitely yeah, yeah. I, I i think especially um, just to kind of, I believe, uh, go that at mm. least, uh, they say, go at least a, a high abstract level mm -hmm. is, uh, I believe, especially for people who use 
so people like me who use public public transport. Mm. Um, if, how we handle our transactions is very unstructured. Mm. Yeah, so pesa probably umeenda mali jamani unapea jamani mwingine cash jamani mm. unamlipa. Mm-hmm. It's very very unstructured. So yeah. even if let's I get an accident I want to tell a story it's now kind of the insurance is kind of uh, they, they have a possibility and the ability proof for us that we are just like there. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Hey, is true and upigia hii is is in zajabu nataka kutubea basa hizi. Yeah. So I think that's also one thing that also we are also trying to do mm-hmm. in terms of having that proof of payment, having that digital receipt of payment, which is not a physical thing which if you go to accident get lost, mm-hmm. you kind of have a log of it somewhere be it on your phone, you move to a different phone, mm-hmm. using just your credentials, you can have a log of transactions that generally happen in one single place. Mm. Which even if as a person, we are talking about insurance, claiming insurance, I might want to kind of go prove to a bank that indeed I'm a very good creditor, mm. probably. I have a very good transaction history and based on my, I'm a free, probably for a freelancer. Yeah. I think well, those are the people that are so affected for most of the time. Yeah. You can just kind of have, go with the pay hero and tell the bank, okay, my guys, I may not be transacting my money through M-Pesa, probably. Mm-hmm. I'm receiving probably money from abroad. It goes and it goes directly to my bank. This mm-hmm. is my history. And I think that can also inform in terms of how your credit history generally gets along. Because we also feel freelancers really get, are being get left outside, especially mm-hmm. when due to access of credit. So also that's also one of the things that we are trying to look into. Ron, I mean, I a story, a friend of mine, and I keep on telling people about it. John, I've been telling for a long time. Yes. I've been telling you so bazu siku moja ameamua kutuma pesa wrong number. Eh? Yeah. Na akipiga simu mali wanapiganga simu wanamwambia omsa alishatumia pesa na ameenda. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you know it's a it's a threat eh? na yeah. imehapeni watu wengi yeah. where you, you just miss a digit. A digit. And uh even ndio pesa yako imeenda. Yeah. How do you kind of like mitigate such kind of uh, instances where somebody probably has messed up with one number? and then the the money has gone i don't know does it have somebody who authenticates it and then now the other one authorizes how do, how how do you go about it okay um on our platform yeah um we have if if you if you're doing the the p2p because that's in most cases p2p yeah. transactions mm-hmm. if you're sending someone uh, money okay yes. So for Mpesa they have something that is known as hakikisha so but mm-hmm. maybe hakikisha could could, could could fail because maybe you find the 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 number is there or the name you, you don't know the name really yeah or you know something of, of that sort mm. okay so for, for us what we do is on our platform because uh, when you transact on p2p on pay hero yeah you have to 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 verify the details of the person you're sending to the the funds okay okay so and and, and the other person and because you have also to 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 state the purpose of payment mm. okay, for all mm. the payments that you that you are making out yeah okay so the other party if let's say you send to the wrong person okay yeah. the, the other party cannot immediately like withdraw the funds like instantly aha uh-huh. okay mm-hmm. there, there's, there's a period because because even in terms of uh, anti money laundering because you want to have like a period with, with, with like a delay can, yeah, yeah. yeah a delay with mm-hmm. which someone can access because if you just receive funds pop and you remove immediately <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a risk okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. so we have mm-hmm. that delay where, where we give you a period between you receiving funds mm-hmm. and being able to withdraw them mm-hmm. yeah nice because um bazu hapo ngekuwa ameokolewa sana most of yeah. the times we find that um, some people really don't take it upon themselves to basically understand that when you sent money wrongfully yeah. you, you need to be a person of integrity to yeah. uh, basically return that money yeah. which brings me to the principle of you know when you talk about safety and security and uh, uh, reflecting on uh, the money aspect and it's online there are three things that come to mind confidentiality integrity and availability basically the the CIA triad yeah. i want to talk about availability when um, let's say uh you remember when uh, the first the first protests at some point yeah. where we saw uh, uh, safari com saying that i don't know which fiber in which sea and things like that yeah. and your 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 payment platform that enables seamless transactions when you met with such kind of uh, you know <laughs> i don't know how to put it such kind of uh, incidences where you you really have uh, you have the the money from somebody you don't hold it but it is in your 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 platform 
and uh, there is a problem, let's say, with the, the network provider and things like that, how do you employ redundancy? How can somebody go about it? Because I'm sure that can be a, a, a pain point for people who want to safeguard their, their money and leverage. Okay. Um, so I guess, first of all, I think one of the things that um, we, we do mostly mm. is communication. So uh -huh. that is one of the things that we know, especially having that personal touch. So even if yeah. you kind of have a simple that you come, mm -hmm. you'll, you are going to get it from us before even you realize that particularly yourself. Ah, okay. Um, then we also have different channels. So that's why we are not just working with one particular provider. Because yes, one provider can decide to kind of do something else and a business mm -hmm. can't receive generally payments. Yeah. So we give you this opportunity which um, you are able to have multiple channels of receiving your money. So mm -hmm. personalized. So, and we also help you with those particular setups. So for example, let's say, uh, Safaricom or any other provider decides, okay, for this particular time, the service in uh, there won't be service availability, let's say for tails, yeah, something like that. So, mm -hmm. as a business, the very first of a channel of thing is reach out to you and try and understand, mm -hmm. inform you of that kind of incident, and advise you, for example, to continue transacting mm -hmm. on, on that particular point because a business can't wait because a provider can't receive payments. And True. We can allow you to kind of set up um, different, uh, I believe, different payment channels so that your business can run smoothly. Mm -hmm. While, of course, your funds, kind of the other providers, kind of having some particular delays. And that's the reason why we partner with, with especially different partners like banks. Like right mm -hmm. now, we have partnered with Choice Bank, which mm -hmm. quickly you are able to, with almost less than probably three minutes, you can have a channel which you can channel your money from there and you can mm -hmm. access it at any particular time. So, Ron, looking forward, where do you see uh, Pehiro in terms of uh, expansion? Because the niche, yeah. the pain point is in seamless transactions, yeah. whereby you know, you're not holding the money, but yeah. you're making the processes smooth. Yeah. Where do you see yourself? Because uh, I'm sure, even for me, um, and that one will talk, uh, I told you a little bit of, of my journey, and it's growth, consistency and growth. Where do you see Pehiro going? Okay, so for Pay Hero, uh, right now you see we are majorly helping businesses. Okay. You know, right now because our major focus is on businesses because that's where there's a lot of you know challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for for, for personal trans, uh, transactions, so for people can now you know locally can they, they can send money to each other. Yeah. But now the growth we are looking for is now people can be able to send money broad or into other you know countries. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Cross border different, transactions. Uh, different currencies and all. Yeah, that. because you may find sometimes people having challenges like with PayPal, you s your mm -hmm. money is being held there, you see, because, you, and you have no alternative uh, yeah. to, 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 to do. So in the next few years, we are seeing ourselves uh, diving into the, you know, uh, cross-border payments mm -hmm. across Africa and the world uh, generally. Yeah, so to ease uh, transactions using um, stable coins. Okay. Yeah, because those ones, uh, they, there's no fiat currency involved in it, and it's easy to, to convert and transact across with a lot of, Freedom and you know, security. As well. Okay. Yeah. Cryptocurrency, Vini. Mumna ingia kwa yuko mambo pia. I would I I hear they only say uh, across the world that's the future of payments. Okay. And I think uh, first of all is yeah that's uh, an avenue I'm generally trying to kind of tap into mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's. It is probably the most convenient. If you're a freelancer in Africa and you receive money from probably US or Australia, yeah. the easiest way to kind of receive money is probably through through crypto. Okay. They tell you, okay, can you give me your, probably your wallet? I send you some USDC. Mm. And we also think that is also probably the safest way in terms of uh, holding your money. Mm -hmm. So because, because they don't kind of fluctuate in terms of when I was in Kenya last year, this year actually, it was just a dollar, it was one sixty, it was one But with crypto, as long as you, if you know you hold around a thousand USDC, mm -hmm. it's a thousand USDC. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I think that's an avenue we are kind of looking into, especially as we kind of explore the space of trying to go international because yeah. receiving my money from my auntie in the US is, is stressful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I have to wait for five days and probably say so. Come on, go get a picture iPhone. Uh, Maze. Three working days. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I tell you about it, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's definitely a space that we are looking into yeah. as we try kind of solve this, I believe, this big problem of receiving money from internationally. Amazing. Yes. What would you tell your younger self, uh, Ron, looking at yourself now? Uh, I think what I'll tell my younger self is that. Uh, Consistency and being passionate about you know something that you really value mm -hmm. uh, can take you places. Okay, mm -hmm. just focusing on something that you, that you really value and you know doing all you can. Okay, 
because you may find so like if you are a young person your your mind is all over you don't know what to do like even most young people right now they don't know what to do they are, they, true they, they're just complaining complaining every day mm. and you know right now we have a lot of problems that people can solve okay mm. it's just a matter of employing your brain to see what what problem can you tackle and focus on it specialize on it and offer the best solutions to, to people out there okay yes. instead of complaining because as I, as a young person i would complain oh there's no job or there's no whatever the government is not doing that and that <laughs> while there are so many problems people are going through so many problems every day true and you, you can just think around it because right now technology is almost accessible right now everywhere you can leverage your technology to provide solutions and empower yourself myself with skills okay mm-hmm. because at one point you may find that for you to provide those solutions you need mm-hmm. relevant skills mm-hmm. okay you need to to learn you need to read you need to do research yeah. rather than just sitting and complaining yeah what about you vini um, I think I'll probably tell uh, a younger Vincent is probably revolt more. I yeah. think. Viva. Viva more. <laughs> uh, because I think from an African context, you know what revolting to your dad is. What is a chapo makufu and be papa. Unangea hivu kwa nyumba angu. But I think is mainly because of the mindset that we generally have like Ron has been mentioned. Because I think we are being raised to work for government. Mm. That you are told Papa, when engineer, when doctor, there's nothing else. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm still trying to explain to my dad what I'm doing. He's like, ha, kibarua. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing kibarua, that yeah. is. Why do you have work and you also do kibarua? So I think it's believing in myself more because I think I realized quite late that uh, it is us to create those opportunities that we are looking for as young people. Yeah. It is us to kind of do those employments that our parents are telling us to work hard, get an A, be a mm. doctor and work in a certain hospitals. Mm. Because those... Mm, I believe those given set- setups are created by people who are entrepreneurs. Mm. And I think that's why I think if you look at the Kenyan market, are you always solutions are being created for us by people from externally. Oh, you yeah. rarely find us uh, kind of give those spaces. So I think I'll be, just tell Vincent, start early so that I can I probably have started entrepreneurship when I was probably in, in, in college. Yeah. I not waited when I was way past, tried employment and noted that, ha, huh, this thing don't, Mm. You are told it's it's the silver bullet to make you rich. It doesn't make you rich. Just as you can get rich quick syndrome. Everybody wants to you know shoot up na ajeka bd and all that. I want us to look at the you know the the money landscape. Do you feel that we have enough conversations surrounding money and how to safely you know leverage on uh, money and uh, uh, how to use it? Do we really have that kind of conversation, Rod? I think no. Uh, there, there isn't much conversation around money. You see, the, mostly how the society has brought us up. They try to, as much as possible to avoid the money conversation. Mm. Okay? You, you just go to school, uh, you, you, you read, you study hard, then you get out here, then you have to figure it out on your own. Mm. Okay? You, you may not even find uh, in school people teaching uh, financial management skills, investment. Mm-hmm. They don't teach you that, actually. Really. Yeah. Uh, if there's a course, maybe I don't know of, mm. that people can tell you this, if you have this amount of money this is where you can put it or this is how you can use it uh, for for it to to to, to grow and uh, help you okay mm-hmm. so there isn't so much conversation around that especially in africa i think uh, most young people that, that's why most people are, are complaining because you may find people they can have money but they'll misuse it or they, they may not you know easily track how they have spent their money mm. they don't have platforms where they can you know intelligently or wisely no mm-hmm. impulse they're... buying yeah 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 so <laughs> you don't know you just spend you, because you think money is, is is just available it's there so yeah. there, there isn't much conversation around it and i think uh, i think more young people i think we need to engage and start having a conversation around how we can you know invest or you know use our money wisely yeah. when you're looking at the attitude that we have surrounding money and leveraging on pay hero as a, a platform where they can seamlessly manage uh, their transaction would you say it can um, help anyone um, be accountable in terms of uh, knowing you know unajua ni kama ni kama exams wakati exams when you holier than thou lakini if you didn't read for that exam basically utaona kwa the results how would you put it in the context of uh, you know now financial literacy and safety and security of uh, your money because people work hard yeah. Watu wametuma fare huko nje. Uh, Inesa uh, umetuma uh, fare kumbe imeendea mtu mwingine. Yeah. Would you say it will put you accountable? Yeah, uh, I think uh, 
money is a taboo um, in it's a taboo in African context uh, and we are being told um, I'm a Christian myself so mm. rest money is evil <laughs> uh, money is the root of all evil so yeah. uh, I guess the other way we come into Peru is I think changing kind of this um, because I think one of the things that uh, w human beings as us we are not very good in terms of thinking statistically yeah in terms of where you spend your money where you're using your money more. and mm -hmm. what we generally also do as you leverage especially sending money is probably give you at the end of the month we kind of give you an analytics of um, of how you are spending your money, be like, hey, Papa, to mona apa, imwezu metu mafaya sana Papa. What, 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 what's generally not happening? Uh, so that now this conversation that we are not kind of born to have with ourselves. Mm. Um, my dad never told me to to be financially kind of pragmatic. I was mm. just told, you study, you go, go out of the world, you'll make money, and all your problems will go away. Yeah. So, but now what we do is we try have this conversation with you, be like, yeah, I think. This month you are, you are having 200 in terms of incoming and you can see them simply in terms of pictorial mm -hmm. because I think pic, pictorial speaks to us better than when you speak numbers in terms of 20,000. Yeah, 20, yeah. So just in a very simple pictorials, graphs and charts, you can see graph red, you can see it. You can see green, you can see it. And you can mm -hmm. see, hey, I can get the money, I can get the money. Caribou is in a shindikana. Mm. And we can even tell you, we start kind of, after a few periods, after some time, we start giving kind of like suggestions. We know that, ah, Papa, unatumia pesa ku buy airtime sana through pay. Hero, you're buying a pattern 10 bob. 10 bob. Mm -hmm. uh, what if you just go to Safaricom and opt in into kind of a post pay, mm -hmm. which will pay 1,000 shillings. You're going to save almost 1,500 shillings yeah. from the, that you do. So we help you think analytically. And if you use platform through more, pay hero sort of help you have this conversion yourself. Mm -hmm. By not even talking to you, by you just logging in and looking at the data, how you use it, you're like, you're able to kind of have that in a thought in yourself. Like, uh -huh, I should probably send fair less. <laughs> <laughs> what <were> fair, <laughs> <laughs> I want to look at the industry trends as we are almost winding up. Yeah. What do you see in the industry? There are many players run in this industry. Yeah. What makes you stand out? What have you seen in terms of the kind of challenges that they're faced and how they're, you know, bringing up their, their solutions and what makes Pay Hero stand out? You've mentioned the accountability part of it. You've mentioned the seamless transaction. What other thing would you say that you've seen in the industry where people are you know out there with the you know kind of same same payment platforms uh, but now what makes pay hero stand out okay i think uh, as i alerted earlier there are so many payment platforms out there yeah even if you if you go to somewhere you, you'll find they're they're using sort of a, a, a system or a platform that they're using to receive payments or to track how their business is doing mm. but there are a lot of you know inefficiencies in those you know platforms as well and there are so many gaps okay yeah so there's no need for for for, for a business to have a point of sale but there's still a manual process of you having to to record the payment again to, to that pl particular platform so mm -hmm. the comes in to provide you with the tools all in one package around payments we don't yeah. we don't just sell you payments okay do your payments mm. Mm. no we, we we go further by giving you the tools that can help you easily and seamlessly uh, track your business and grow okay. okay so by let's say for example if you go in a in a restaurant okay yeah so in, in most cases like we, we, as i said the, the waiter will come and you know give you the receipt and wait for you to pay but we can give you a, a, an application for the business we have an application called lipo so mm -hmm. each waiter can have their own account there and they can initiate the prompts to the clients to pay so they don't have to 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 go confirm somewhere they'll just see on their app they, they'll see the client has paid and they can track how much they have sold so me as an individual waiter i can see this month this is how i've performed in terms of sales mm -hmm. each every, every other person can also track that because currently i've not seen uh, such kind of solutions you know they, they just give you something then you're left there to figure out how to deal with it yeah i've seen yeah. a lot of a lot, uh, and it's very true i've seen a lot of um especially the waiters or people who work in the hospitality industry, when it comes to stock taking and accountability in terms of how many people have you sold for. Um, and I want you to highlight more on the, the, the LIPWA, how, how it works and how it makes it easier. So, unakuta, waiter ameenda, ame serve mtu kwa hoteli, alafu, when it comes to reconciliation, wale watu wetu wa messages za kuprompt, wa <laughs> kama watatu wamekuja hapo hivi yeah, yeah. so una, una anaonyesha kwamba ndio message uh, niliandika ba and yet it's fake so yeah. take us through lipwa so this is how lipwa works okay let's mm. assume you are a business and you have come to us yeah. want us to give you the lipwa solution for mm. your restaurant okay 
a restaurant is a, is a typical example you're giving because most of us have interacted in that, in that True. environment. We have seen the, the, the headache that is there mm. when we come to transact. Yeah. Yeah. But the, there are many other use cases. So uh, we set it up for you such that uh, you can be able to have all, like if you're selling you know, food, you can be able to have the list of all these things so you can take orders there on that app. Like all your, ah, all okay. your staff can have that. It's okay. not like it's a centralized place where on and on a key in. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just one central place someone keys in. During COVID, they, data work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so, but this one is decentralized now. Yeah. Each, each of the staff can easily do that on their own and they can track all the sales that they are making. So, yeah. when it comes to payment, there's no the manual way of, you know, writing the code down or giving you, you know, checking your phone. Mm. So, if it's in PESA, you just prompt the customer, you just put the amount that they're, they're supposed to be paid. Then you send the SDK prompt because that's the popular way nowadays mm. people pay because the prompts even work on you know Kadudas now. Yeah. So it's easier to pay and almost ninety percent of payments go through Mpesa nowadays. So, mm. so it's easier. You as 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 the as the waiter you don't have to to have the hard work because if you prompt a client and they pay you can see on your you can see the code yourself. Mm. So you won't have to go and confirm a code somewhere else. Yeah. And the cashier also wherever they are seated they just be able to see this order has been paid for mm -hmm. without having to call anyone or ask anyone to write it down. Yeah. Another use case could be in petrol stations. You see, I have a friend of mine who works in a petrol station and mm -hmm. what they do is, whenever someone comes to, to, to fuel their car or their motorbike, mm -hmm. they have to, there's someone who has to say, you have 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 Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see such things. So, yeah. and you may find someone can speed off, they have gone without even paying, okay? Yeah. Or even at the end of the day, they have a hard time because you as the, 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 someone who's servicing there, mm. you have to write down all the, the sales you've made. Yeah. Manually, you have to write down on paper, then they compare with the amount of fuel that has been sold and see mm -hmm. if it's telling or not. So in mm. most cases, my friend finds himself having shots because of th those, you know, writing down things, you miss something here or there. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So you see such a case. So if you have that leap over there, so you just prompt the customers, mm. they pay you, you don't have to record anything down, it's automatically captured there, your manager will see it. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they know uh, Vincent has sold this much, this is the amount they have sold, mm -hmm. this one has sold this, there will be no uh, cut and mouse games, you know, trying to, to figure out. Or Ukshamal is a shift, you also spend another one hour just trying to reconcile things. <laughs> so there's no that problem court. now, yeah. This Lipua is, is very interesting. Vini, mtu akitaka pe hero na fanyaji. Uh, so for us, if, if, if you want to find us, actually, uh, it's quite very simple. So you just go to uh, payhero.kenya.com. Uh, mm -hmm. Then from there, uh, you, if you are a new customer, first of all, um, you you'll just have an account which you just click on the portal, just sign up, you create an account. So again, we try to make it as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. So you, when you just click sign up, the process is seamless. You can pretty much join Payhero in pretty much in, 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 in 30 seconds, you'll be done. So you just enter the email address, your, your phone number. We verify that it's your phone number so that, again, yeah. you don't get uh, fraudsters who are trying to kind of join our system. Yeah, again, yeah. security is a very important aspect that we generally mm. kind of do. Then, if you're a business, we do for you KYC. Because, mm. again, we don't want you to be coming, creating some fake accounts and you want to scam people outside there. Mm. So you have to be KYC. If you say you do this business, we know yeah, this is the business you generally do. Mm. And pretty much, you are pretty much done. Then once you log in, you are able to sort of set up your payment channels. Because, again, we don't... Get your, you don't receive your money anywhere. The mm. money goes to where you're comfortable because like Ron has mentioned, I'm comfortable where I receive my money back home. Yeah. My mom is comfortable getting her money in, in her till. Mm. So you just go and set up that your till there. And for if any reason or other, uh, you are unable to kind of do that particular setup, I think on our website down, I think on the bottom right, you'll just find somewhere of need help. Mm. And um, we, you're going to get help from different people. So if you want to kind of reach our customer service team, you can reach our customer service team directly. Mm -hmm. If you want to reach our technical support team. So if it is a technical thing, let's say you're a restaurant and uh, you don't want, you don't understand especially how you can use Pay Hero yeah. as much as you might m make it as simple as possible, mm -hmm. somebody might kind of have that particular knowledge gap. So mm -hmm. you can reach your technical team directly and what we do is we come to your business ourselves. So that's oh. what we do because that personal touch for us is, yeah. so technology is not a silver bullet to solve all problems. That mm -hmm. personal touch also still kind of, True. it brings assurance to a business that, ah, these people, if they're available any single time, then that is what we generally try to show. So we come to a business, we try understand even the nature of business. If it has some special intricate that we have to kind of put into the system, we'll take those notes and we'll also bring that in the system as generally kind of put, configure for you your personalized experience in the system. Yeah, so you'll be able to reach us personally and even if you want to talk to our CEO directly, his number is there. So mm -hmm. if you're like, 
ha ni mwangana na watu wako wa mkono mm. uh, <laughs> kwa kazi yao ni ngumu kazi yao ni ngumu sana hiyo ukikuja kwa crime scene that i know the boss watakwambia hata sisi tunamjua hata sisi tunamjua exactly yeah. so you can directly reach out to him uh-huh. tell him as a uh, wale watu wako kuna vinyo amenichilia chini so again the whole purpose we do that is for us to have the transparency and mm-hmm. we don't kind of try to put some gatekeeping yeah. uh, especially in terms of whenever we have a problem so because if you have a problem we take that advantage and that's why you can directly talk to even to our ceo so those are the three levels of communication that you can have and how you can generate access that vini you know i have a grandma ule home yeah obviously because that's when we kwa kama ngikuwa yeah na smartphone yeah and the peer to me here i yeah so i think uh, we always talk about africanity it's the diversity <laughs> of people uh, especially african people we are very mm. diverse so Uh, yes they, of course they can use Pehiro. so we have a ussd that we can specifically set for your business mm. and just through kadunda so mm. through kadunda people can pay you through that particular ussd once we set up for you that on the platform mm. and kama we ni grandma uko unauza rabuoni au unauza samak uko kama uko kwetu jamaa anakuja tuna dial ussd anakulipa inaenda direct into your into whatever preferred your, location. your preferred location mm. then pia wewe kama kama mama akisha lipa si lazima uliza kupea message uh-huh. unapata hiyo message tena kwa simu yako tu unapata hapo tu ah uh, Vincent Mundi amekulepa pesa ya samaka hapa uh-huh. so yeah watu wa viva Gen Z wanaitanga Gen Z ni wa Gen Z <laughs> lakini hawatakangi kuchoka yeah. what do they do with them yeah. now yeah on, on uh, at pay hero uh, we are very diverse and we accommodate a whole set of people mm. so for Gen Z and uh, businesses that are digital centric We, we have a uh, whatsapp option okay so you as a business let's say you want to receive orders by whatsapp okay so your customers uh, can have a convenient way to order for things or to pay for things yeah. okay let's say you you're delivering water for example mm-hmm. someone can order water on what on your business whatsapp number mm-hmm. because we set up that we have apis for that okay so that enable you to integrate to to the whatsapp service so that you can automate your business on whatsapp so someone can order and pay directly on whatsapp without leaving WhatsApp itself mm. because Gen Z they are attacky attack choker yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so apart, apart from WhatsApp also we have a mobile app on Play Store so if you go to Play Store and search Pay Hero Mobile you'll find our app there mm-hmm. so the app can also enable you to transact easily and also as a business to track your transactions even as an individual also it's not just for businesses alone mm. even you as an individual who wants to to use Pay Hero to track uh, your money because Pay Hero gives you informed insights about your transactions okay mm. because we we leverage on AI to to give you interesting insights on your transactions you don't just see their list to this is the money but we give you interesting facts about the, the transactions and how you can improve on your financial you know uh, skills yeah we don't support team gani soka imekupata imekupata na wea team kubwa team kubwa gani yeah eh lakini menipea hati of late just pains we 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 hey Yeah so me I'm a fan of the red devils themselves uh, the team 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 yo 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 papa yo team of winners maze we've had good times brother si semi kitu yeah <laughs> <laughs> ron uh, maybe i'm not really that, that football centric mm. you know i'm a geek so yeah. but when push comes to shove meaning to chelsea ah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sitaki kusema chenye watu kusema. Let me also just keep quiet on that. Um if you were to choose any superpower what would it be? Fini. Oh myself. Mm. Um I think probably a uh, superpower to have is probably to time travel myself. Uh, so I'm a I'm a fan of of Marvel and DC comic movies. Eh. So probably time travel and I think the most interesting time for me to go to is probably to the the age of the renaissance i like to kind of experience also people were sort of thinking it's a challenge mm. history because it's always said we are here because they were there the likes of da vinci so <laughs> i'd like to go, probably time travel to that particular time so i'll say time traveling what about you Rod? i think for me from the psychological part of it is to to read people's minds you know yeah. as an entrepreneur you want to know what someone is thinking you may be selling something to someone and deep down they're like just mm. leave Bila Kenya anasema atinafika hivi na kama. Yeah yeah yeah. My final one would be um now that uh, you've uh, traveled a lot and uh, you've you know you've seen how businesses operate 
wakati ilikuwa mdogo vini what did you want to become uh, so uh, I, i think just kind of alluding to the fact that i love uh, DC comic movies which is mm-hmm. basically sci-fi so one of the things that i loved as a young person was seeing screens of things that generally move uh, mm-hmm. so it's computers mm-hmm. so i always really wanted to be uh, as pure as a young i just wanted to be kind of be able to program such kind of things and yeah so i, I wanted to be a software engineer uh, if in case i grew up <laughs> what about you Ron? <laughs> i think for me i was a bit of a curious kid so i didn't really know what i wanted to be anyway mm. life just shaped me into things yeah. but uh, I, i i came to to like computers i think from uh, primary school mm. after class 8 there mm. you know you know most people do packages after form 4 but yeah. when i started after class 8 there so by the mm. time i went to high school i pretty much knew this is what i want to to do mm. yeah wow yes. it's a rap nivo tu hapa watu naongeanga hivyo yes. inafika mahali uh, you know we have the crime shield premier gang who will have questions yes. and um, definitely they'll put it in the comments below yes. just try as much as possible to think through you out there and ask yourself how you transact do you keep an account of what you do on a daily basis mimi mwenyewe nime fall victim wa impulse buy yeah yeah <laughs> and uh you know i've never taken time to actually just check and see where does the money go and all that because bank itakwambia <laughs> how that account spend they want you to spend yeah, yeah 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 so put down in the comments below if you have any questions uh, or reach directly we'll put the details of the hero down in the description and as always keep it crime shield